Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be basically showing you the procedures I go through when selling cakes in slices. As many of you know, that's basically how I get my income. That's just like, I would say a hobby because I really enjoy doing it at the same time. And I have fun actually, believe it or not. So first I just prepared my mixture of my cake, the batter. I already showed you how to do that. I have a recipe on it. Just click onto my channel and you will see it. All the recipes you see on here will be down, uh, will be already here on the channel. And so once I prepare and I put my cakes to bake, I just slice up my peaches to, you know, put the filling in. You can put fruit filling or not. It just depends on you. Then, uh, like you saw, I just center, um, like, a, not a toothpick, but a stick to make sure it's done and then I already had done my uh, whipped topping I already had showed you different types that I really recommend it's not the normal standard you get at Walmart believe me those things don't hold their shape as much as these they're really good I really recommend pastry pride or um, rich they give really good ones and so then I just prepare my milk mixture. This is a Tres Leches cake. It's very delicious. Uh, what I noticed that in, Mer in America, Americans don't really eat it as much. <laughs> but uh, as like Hispanic culture really, really love this cake. It just depends how you make it really. Because some people, I'm sorry, but it doesn't taste good. And I promise you this one is bomb.com. And so I just let it sit there. I drench my cake into it and I just start moving it side to side so it gets all the edges and everything of my cake. It has wax paper on the bottom so obviously it can't absorb from the bottom in. But I really recommend putting some wax paper in the bottom just because when you're going to turn your cake sometimes like, I don't know, it sucks it in that it doesn't let the cake go uh, from the milk that you put into it and you start like, you know, given some little bounces or hits onto your pan so you know it could just let it go and then it ends up breaking so yep that's something you want to keep in mind but other than that it's really good this is why I recommend putting wax paper on the very bottom I was making 45 slices this weekend thank god everything was gone I sold everything I promise you they're really good I have few people that come, like, literally each weekend that they want more. Um, I'm very happy that I sell them, but I'm very happy that they actually like what I'm selling, you know? Because when someone starts coming back again and again for more, that means they really like it. And then that's actually how you might get some clients um, that to make bigger cakes. But I honestly not focusing in that right now. I decided to just sell in slices. You get better income. That's what I'm going to say. You get better income. You don't stress as much that, you know, it's the decoration. It's not starting off how you want it or like it's not turning out. And this is just a very easy way to do it. Then I just put, you know, my filling into there. Put some whipped cream and it's really good. I don't recommend for selling in slices. I don't recommend um, putting like strawberry and peach just put one or none really because sometimes when I'm offering them I don't even say they're filled with peach so sometimes I put it sometimes I don't but I recommend the peaches or just plain old strawberry slice them up and put it in there some people just like to put strawberry jam so once I you know flipped over my cake I do it like you know leave the scary thing from you because if you do it you know all like oh it's not gonna it's gonna break or something it will break because you just need to do it very fast I don't know how to explain it but right there you can see it's still not very well drenched so I just added more milk so it's perfectly drenched into the milks uh, you definitely don't want to over add because then uh, your cake could break while turning it of how moist they'll be I put about three cups and this is a pan of uh, 15.4 inches by 10.5 and it turns out very good it's very drenched in the milk it's not like so excessively drenched but it's not dry whatsoever it's perfect and so then I just you know 
spread the whipped cream on top. I really don't stress out people. I got this comment on my channel that it looked ugly. I really don't care if it looks ugly because when you already put it into your little container, believe me, no one's going to notice of how ugly if it wasn't straight enough, it wasn't smooth edges because they're just going to worry about getting a spoon and popping them in to their mouth that's all they care about and if it's good um but yeah so these are the little containers i get i get 25 for 45 pesos um i don't know how much they are in um united states just because when i lived there i only worked with bigger cakes i didn't really sell in slices because you do need you know permission to sell out in public your product um so i just put it into groups and people who know me you know they ask for cakes i really didn't go out there just because it is a very more it's more strict over there than it is here but as you see you know it doesn't look ugly well to me it doesn't probably that person that commented on my video were like oh they're ugly you're like you're so unprofessional something like that i never get really like you know very rude comments but this person just went all over it. I didn't let it get to me because I know how many people I've received so many comments, not only on here, but in person, of how much they love what I do about the taste. You know, the taste is all it matters. I always say that. I feel, I don't know. I wouldn't care if you gave me a cake and it's all deformed, like ugly. I would care just if it tastes good and this is how this is how it comes out i give 35 pesos each one just in case you're wondering although you can do your math and you know decide how much you want to give it just remember to get what you wasted the ingredients you wasted on and your income